hey, if you own a house, you're still paying on a mortgage, you're trying to figure out what to do. Yeah, that was the question. Okay. So the number one thing is, can you accelerate payments on your mortgage? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, there are two schools of thought. We're going to take the straightforward one. One is keep as little equity in your home as possible so that you have that asset available to be invested elsewhere and be productive. That is a higher risk proposition. Let's say that your goal is to get your house paid off and then to take your discretionary income because you no longer have a mortgage and you're going to start buying other assets at that time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why does it help to start paying extra payments, even if they're little, on your mortgage as soon as possible? Well, if you can get rid of the high interest that you're paying, like if you're losing four, five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars a month to interest, and you can whittle that down, that frees up money yeah. to where you can it's, invest that back. Because here's pocket. what happens, and in, a, in very simple terms, we tend to overcomplicate this, and it's not that complicated. No. If you borrow three hundred thousand dollars to buy a house, you're paying interest on three hundred thousand dollars. Yep. Your first payment pays almost only interest and you get a little bit of principal. So the next payment is a little bit less than the first principal wise, or it's, it's like you owe a little bit less. So you still have the same payment, but the way they've calculated the mortgage is your payment stays the same. And then each month, as you gradually whittle down at your principal mm -hmm. that's owed, more of that payment gets applied to principal and less to interest because you're starting to have a smaller loan value. Right. Right? It's actually that simple. So if you make extra payments that don't go to interest, then what it does is it takes the lifetime val average daily balance of your mortgage and lowers it, which means more of your standard payment goes toward interest, which means you're accelerating the rate at which you lower your lifetime average daily balance of, of your principal on your loan. Okay? That's really the, the issue. And, it, and if that, just go listen to that part again. If you're listening to this or watching YouTube, I was actually going to recommend it that. again. Mm -hmm. Listen to what I said because your average daily loan balance drops faster when you can apply more principal early in your loan. Mm -hmm. And that lower average daily balance means you have to pay less interest. This is the same thing. There's a, there's some programs out there advocating for accelerating mortgage payoff by using a home equity line and basically putting your whole paycheck in your home equity line and then gradually borrowing it back out. All they're really trying to do in that scenario is lower your average daily balance. It's just harder to execute than you think, right? Mm -hmm. Like there, there's not a lot of programs that work very effectively to do that. But you know, the person with the whiteboard will explain it to you. It's like, oh, look, you're, it's magic. No, lower average daily loan balance. So accelerating payments does what? Gets into your principal faster. Right. Making more payments per month, like, oh, let's just do three pay two payments a month and then like every three months we make an extra payment, right? All that's doing, chipping away at the principal sooner mm -hmm. because you're getting to those tweener payments, tweener meaning in between the normally scheduled payments when the interest gets charged and you're, you're hammering down your daily average balance. That's what you're doing. Right. Okay. So that's the magic of getting your house paid off faster.